this lotion is. Oh. Well, if it isn't the scourge of the dance himself, Flat Mickey. Oh. It's Michael Fatley to you. Jesus, your pants look a little large up front. Is there something tickling your tackle? No. If you're a dancer, you've got to wear. Uh, <laughs> Stand out on stage. <laughs> Stand out? You take someone's eye out with that. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What have I told you about putting pets down Jesus. your pants? Uh, it impresses the women. <laughs> oh, Jesus, claws, box. Mind your claws. <laughs> anyway, hey, oh. hey, you don't want to be entering competitions. It'll only end in disaster. Uh, did I ever tell you about the nuns of... Bumboil Abbey. As you know, nuns are notoriously competitive. I didn't. Especially between uh, the different convents. Oh, there's all kinds of inter-convent rivalry. The, the, the longest uh, Thou of Silence competition, a speed rosary recitals, toilet abstinence, most pious look of the month. Uh, the list is endless, but the most viciously contested competition of all had to be the oldest none of the year award. With the ultimate prize being a visit to the winning convent from his holiness, the Pope himself. <gasps> JP won one! Indeed. To meet the Pope is every nun's dream. Let alone have him visit your convent. She would be the envy of every nun in the world. <laughs> As you can imagine, there was some fierce cheating, but nothing would ever match what the nuns of Bumboyle Abbey did. Tell me more. Well, Sister Angina was 152 years old. A dead cert for the oldest nun of the year award. Uh, the only other threat was a... Uh, Sister Candida, who was six months younger from a convent in Krakatoa, east of Java. Sister Sledge, the head nun at Bunboil Abbey, was so confident of winning that a whole month before the deadline, she ordered her nuns to set about purging and scouring the whole convent in preparation for his holiness. Come on, sisters. Scrub for Jesus. The excitement was building up less than two days to go. Then the unthinkable happened. The L1 died. Yep. Sister Angina, at 152 years and 73 days, had slipped on the over-polished floors and broke her neck. Well, that's that. Yeah, right. Well, that's right. No, not quite. Sister Sledge stood over the dead nun, disgusted. Then her whole face lit up as she thought of a drastic plan. She dragged the body into her office and locked the door. She picked up the phone and rang her friend, an ex-missionary priest, Father Finton Fondel. Finton, the convent needs your special assistance, said Sister Sledge. Come now, while it's still dark. There's a bit of work to be done. The next morning in the convent, the nuns could barely contain themselves, for his holiness was only hours away and already in the papal plane. But uh, the old one was dead. She was neither living nor dead. There she sat at her usual spot at the breakfast table. Her eyes glazed over, drool seeping from her mouth. <gasps> You see, Father Fondel, with his many years as a missionary in deepest Africa, had picked up a few voodoo tricks. A zombie nun! Indeed. Uh, Father Fondel had performed some pagan practice and promised that the old nun would sustain a pseudo-life for a few days, uh, at least long enough for the Pope's visit, and of course... If that's all that Sister Sledge really cared about. At 12 noon, just after the Angelus, the Pope mobile pulled up. You could cut the excitement with a knife. At last he had arrived. Where is my oldest nun? He said as he was led towards the dribbling wreck. 
Sister Slade stood beside the zombie nun. She couldn't believe it. The Pope was really here in her convent. This was the proudest moment of her life. Uh, but as the Pope put out his hand for the oldest nun to kiss, the zombie nun bit his fingers clean up. Jesus! You see, that's what happens when you meddle with the undead. Yep. Poor Sister Sledge had forgotten to take into consideration the flesh-eating bloodlust of the undead. The convent was disgraced and immediately closed down. All the nuns were excommunicated, and rumor has it in the old ruins of the convent, Sister Sledge and a bunch of renegade nuns had sliced up the zombie nun and retrieved Il Papa's holy fingers. And they worshipped them every day as the zombie nuns of Bumboyle Abbey. Jesus! Zombie nuns! Huh. Well, that's taken the competitive edge right off me. Uh, I'd better ring Janet, me dance partner, and let her know that I'm finished with this dancing lark. Janet, <laughs> Janet, Janet, that would be Janet Nee Crotch. Yes. Formerly James O. Crotch. What? <laughs> Don't what? tell me you didn't know. Sure, she's a bigger bulge than you. Oh, <laughs> oh Jesus. I was wondering where I was getting the beard rash from. <laughs>